We're happy to have junior outfielder Jacob Bregman back with us. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. Was it a long, cold winter for the baseball team? Oh, yeah, it definitely was cold. Colder than last year. Yeah, definitely. I think it was cold. When it's cold, fortunately, you, you get time inside the practice facility, right, where the football team runs around. Is that where you guys spend your winter? Yeah, the small segment we have before football kicks us out. But yeah. So how, how, how do you uh, do the hitting and, and, the, and the fielding as a, as a fielder? How do you get all those throws in? What, what do you do when you're indoors? It's actually really crazy. If you, if you go in there during our practice, it's, it's, it's like you've got to have all eyes open and heads up because we have only a certain amount of space, and we have to have you know, three different groups hitting at one time. And so we'll hit opposite ways of each other <laughs> with screens everywhere, and then there's a brick wall. You know, it bounces off and goes everywhere. It's, it's pretty crazy. It's tough because our parents always taught us not to play indoors. <laughs> yeah. And now you're indoors swinging as hard yeah. as you can. Uh -huh. Well, you got into action finally this last weekend. How, how happy just to be on the field competing as somebody else? Oh, it, it's, like a, it's like a dream every time you go out there against another team. You know, all fall we, we work on our own pitchers. We have to face each other right. kind of in inner squad games. And... It's just a whole different story when, when it's another guy out there you don't know. And it's just the competition level just rises real quick. Seems like half the team went on a mission this last <laughs> offseason. So you got a lot of new guys back. And a new guy at the top in, in Mike Littlewood, the new coach. What do you think of Mike? Oh, yeah. Um, the new coaches, you know, we're all very excited about them. And right when they came in, they, they came in and turned things around. Uh, they did it their way, did what they want. And um, my. Coach Littlewood's awesome, and we're really lucky to have him. Let's take a look at the best of Brugman, some of your highlights from last season. What, uh, what, do you, what do you, if you had to describe yourself to a baseball scout, all right, like you're selling yourself for a job down the line, uh -huh. uh, what, what, what are your pitch points? Um, you know, I just tell them that I'm a hard worker, I'm determined, and uh, let them know um, that I'm ready for the next level, that I want to play the next level, and that's what really the scouts want to hear is how how you're ready to play at the next level and if you're mentally and physically there and basically I tell them I am and as they can see you know I'm going to work hard this season too and they'll know I'm ready. The Yankees uh, picked you a few years back uh, out of high school but uh, but you wanted to get some college time in and, and yeah and what to kind of solidify for yourself where you think a legitimate draft pick should be? Well is ever, ever since growing up, you know, you want to play in the major leagues. You want to be right. that big star. Um, but as I went through high school and I, I watched college baseball on TV, the World Series, it just, it, it just really want, it made me want to be there. Yeah. You know, first before the major leagues, and I think a lot of that was why I wanted to come to college is because I wanted to have that atmosphere of college baseball first. You know, and then. Also, I value education a lot, and I, I just I thought that would be more beneficial to my life to have an education first. Plus, your wife probably thinks it's a pretty good idea. Yeah, I think she does, too. <laughs> well, you're, you're knocking on the door of the public relations department. That, yes. uh, that's an outstanding field here. But you made some good PR against uh, Santa Clara and some dramatic finish from last <laughs> season. Every kid dreams about hitting a walk-off grand slam yeah. to win the game. Let's take a look at that and walk us through this moment. Well, I hit it, and as you can see, I'm running as fast as I possibly can because I didn't think it was going to go out. Now, there was a lot of wind that night, uh -huh. and you hit it a mile high. Uh -huh. Yeah, and when you when you hit it that way, you can kind of see how it got um, really good backspin on the ball, and that's what you want as you're hitting. Is you want that backspin, and that's, I think, what took it you know, over the fence because it gets to that point at the highest point in the air, and while it still has backspin, it kind of jumps more. Really, and that's and it's being an outfielder, you can see it a lot, a lot more. But um, you could actually see the ball kind of just like going, extra, to like going to hyperspace. Yeah, it's almost. <laughs> and so I, I'm guessing that's what happened. Uh, I couldn't believe it either, and I was running around the bases. And I actually, when he hit the wall, the outfielder, I thought he'd caught it. Oh, really? Yeah, and I was freaking out. And then I turned to look at Coach, Coach Law at third, and he was like, you know, screaming, <laughs> and the whole team was running out to home plate. So when you go into the dugout, uh, what does everyone say to you? Now the rah-rahs have stopped. You're sitting on the bench. You just hit the grand slam. What, 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 what do the guys say? Well, the game's over, and so I think everyone is almost on the same high as I am. Right. And, and so we're all kind of just, you know, high-fiving, 
like I probably high five the same guy four times, <laughs> you know, and it's just you, lots of hugs um, and just lots of screams. And then we went down to our, our clubhouse right. Um, right away, and so then we screamed more, and you know. Screaming's good. We, we oh, look yeah. forward to, to more of those plays this, uh, this spring oh, so do I. out at Miller Park. Jacob Rugman, thank you.